at Iowa 2015, Germany, Nuremberg. And we got the Bren right here, got the Scorpion right over here. For all of you that are home that can come to this, hashtag my Iowa or IWA and find us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, all the goodies. And uh, let's make this Iowa your Iowa with my Iowa. This one right here is the TAC-6. This is a uh, low entry sniper rifle for beginners, backyard shooters, people who just want to shoot to have fun. It's uh, made of um, plastic, most of the way polymer to keep price down. Uh, it features, there you go, a stick magazine. And it is CO2 powered. The CO2 goes in the handle right here. It's gonna come with uh, the same sights that we have on our uh, Evo Scorpion polymer sights and a polymer folding stock. Now, this one shoots pretty hefty out of the box, about 100 meters per, uh, 130 meters per second. Uh, so it's definitely something people wanna consider when uh, taking this out. And again, it's not for people playing airsoft to shoot at each other, for target practice and having a good time in the backyard. This is the TAC-6, the airsoft version. We also have a TAC-45, which is the uh, air gun version. These will hit the market very, very soon. And price is gonna be very decent because we are aiming for people that are starting to shoot for fun, getting into airsoft. All right, moving on to this hand cannon right here. This is the Dan Wesson 715. We're gonna release this one in three different versions. The airsoft version, a pellet version and a steel BB version. Now the airsoft version is unique to revolvers and airsoft because it's gonna feature a hop-up. Uh, this is gonna give it a lot better range, something we haven't seen before on our Den Wesson. So you can actually start taking this out to the skirmish sites. It's gonna come with a nice rubberized grip, which more or less is rubber. It's gonna have a, let's see if I can open this quickly, the CO2 compartment here with a hex key into the grip so you don't need tools when you're out playing. It's always a little buggy. The trigger system we've been working on as well since uh, we've been getting some feedback on the old Dan Wesson models we have. So we're trying to improve the trigger as well. Safety is beneath the trigger, something unique to revolvers. You don't see that a lot. And we have also redesigned the internals, the valve systems to give you a better output. Now, they're still gonna shoot very hot when you, uh, when you take them out to the fields. That's why we can uh, take the old and western cartridges, which is the low power one, so you can actually play out on uh, airsoft fields within the legal range. This is the P09. We released this one last year in all black. This year, a new version is coming out. It's uh, still the same pistol, uh, except it has the new FDE color. I'm gonna do a chamber check, and it's clear. Now, the P09 features a heavy metal slide that gives you a really nice blowback, a really good recoil. It comes with gas magazines, but if you want to, you can upgrade to CO2 magazines. These are optional, you can buy them on the side. Trigger response is really good, as the P09 is. And it has all the trades, rail for you know all the goodies, all that stuff. So be sure to check this one out. It's gonna come uh, hit stores very, very soon. All right, so everybody, they know Daivo. Uh, what they don't know is we're continuing to evolve on this particular product. This is our baby. We want it to grow up to be a fully grown monster. What we're introducing this year is a new CNC uh, trigger, which you can see up on the board. It's a short stroke, gonna give you a better trigger response, shorter travel time. We're bringing in a new spring guide, which is, uh, have been modified. It's a lot more durable. Uh, we've been getting some feedback that uh, people wanted that when they put in heavier springs or harder springs. And we're actually releasing a butt plate for the Evo that accommodates uh, M4 stock, uh, M4 stock tubes. So you can put whatever M4 you want on, uh, M4 stock that you want on it. These would be hitting the market very, very soon. All right, so this is the one everybody's talking about, the CC Bren 805, or 805 Bren. Now, this one right here is still a mock model. It's not, a, not even a prototype. We're still working on the details on the internals. I do have some new information about it. It's gonna feature a modular magwell. That means by punching out two pins, you can switch it out. Now, 
You can take the standard Brent magazine or you can switch it out so it can take M4 to NAG magazines, which gives it a lot of um, great options because if you already have a lot of M4 magazines, you might just get that magwell. We're going to release this bad boy in eight different versions. We're going to come out with a sports line and a pro line as the A1 and A2, which is the long and shorter barrel. And we're going to, come, going to come out in two different colors. So that's eight different models. Uh, the color for the other one is going to come in black. The other color we're not really sure about is probably going to be the gray. It might be the tan version. Uh, we would love to hear you guys' feedback on uh, social media, on our Facebook, Action Sport Games, or Instagram, Action Sport Games, or write these guys in their comment section and uh, let us know which, which color you want the uh, color number two to be.